think introductions are in order, I'd like to introduce you to the resistor and the photo resistor, the ESP8266 Node MCU, and the LED. All right, so we're going to use this photo resistor here. And this is really the first sensor that we came across uh, or that you're going to be exposed to. Now, this is a sensor because it takes input from the environment or its surroundings. It's taking the input, in this case, in terms of the light, the amount of light that's available as the input. Now, this L over here, this LED is an output device or an actuator. Okay, so we have an actuator over here and a sensor over here. All right, let's take a look at this part of the circuit right here. This part of the circuit is set up in such a way that the brighter it gets, the brighter it gets, the bigger the number that we're going to read on this pin right here. And the bigger number that we read, in other words, the brighter that it is, we want to go ahead and allow this particular LED to get dimmer. Whenever it gets dark, whenever this value goes down, whenever this it gets dark and this value over here goes down, we want this actually to get brighter. And that makes sense, right? Because when you're in a place, let's say you're outside and the sun goes down, maybe you would like to have your exterior lights come on or gradually dim on is kind of like what we're doing here. I have a simulator set up for a slightly different board over here. This is an Arduino Uno board, but it's set up in the same manner, same kind of circuit. And the code is virtually identical as well. All right, let's open up the code over here. We can see that we define some pin values and we basically are writing to the LED based upon the value from the light pin. So as the light pin value gets higher, since it's in the denominator, the fraction what we have right here will get smaller whenever the denominator gets bigger. And that will cause our over here, our LED in that case would get dimmer. If the LED pin value, if it got darker, then it would make this fraction bigger. So if it got darker, it would allow this LED to get more power, more voltage, should I say, and then it would get brighter. So let's go ahead and see this simulated. Start the simulation. We're simulating right now darkness, and we can see the LED is on. If we go towards brightness, then it goes dark. Bright, and then it goes dark. Now the range of dimming on this is not that far. With the code that we have right here, the range is not that far. If you notice right here, I use this value right here of 36,000 that might be a more appropriate value for the actual ESP8266, but this is not an ESP8266 that I'm actually simulating with. I'm simulating with, in this case, an Arduino Uno. So in this particular case, I would probably get some better values. Let's go ahead and just tinker with this a little bit more. Let me stop the simulation. But... I'm guessing we'll get better values with this one with maybe around 24,000 rather than 36,000. Let's go ahead and try it there. We see we have the light on over here. Still on. And it so it does the... Still fades out. So maybe I went the wrong direction with it. Maybe I should have went up further. Set up from 36 down to 24, go from 36 to 48,000. Whoops, a little too much there. And start the simulation. And there we have it bright, still bright. And 
right there. It's getting darker. Right? It's not getting totally dark though. So maybe I need to bring it down to like 42,000. So I'm going through this process right here pretty much to show you the kind of troubleshooting you should do in terms of kind of manipulating this value in your own sketch to make your particular circuit work uh, over a nice range. So if I use this now, now it's going from bright to dark over a nicer range, a broader range of dimming. So you can more finely tune the dimming of it. All right. So again, tinkering with this value right here will enable you to create uh, a larger range of dimming so that the light would more you know, gradually dim. And you can go ahead and do that with your sketch. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy using your photoresistor.